So, it's time for another SSD video. What's up guys, welcome back to Michael's Tech Talk. So today I've got another SSD enclosure video for you guys. And this one is from the guys over at Lemorel. So big thanks for sending this over to me. Really, really appreciate it. So uh, let's get into the video. So uh, the unboxing of this was pretty straightforward. Uh, just opened it up. Inside there was a bookmark, which is handy if you read books. There was a list of uh, football club stickers, so pretty cool if you're a football fan. And there was also a list of instructions as well, which was in multiple languages. Pretty straightforward stuff. And also in the box there was uh, two USB cables. So there was a USB-C to USB-C cable, and there was a USB-A to USB-C cable. So you're pretty well covered there for all types of connections. And then of course in the box was this little enclosure. So as you can see, it comes in a, like a dark metallic grey. It is an aluminium uh, outer case. And then uh, on the inside then is the SSD housing, which is made of plastic. And the assembly was pretty straightforward. Uh, it's simply two screws. Uh, as you can see, there is multiple um, positions for multiple different sizes of M.2 SSDs. So uh, obviously I had a spare 512 gig SSD kicking about. So I installed it, pretty straightforward, two simple screws and you don't need any tools for this. It literally you put the back screw in and then you put the little thumb screw in and you screw it together by hand. Simple, easy peasy. So yeah, so that's it all set up. So what I'm going to do for you guys now is I'm going to get this set up. Now uh, I'm sure you've noticed in my previous SSD enclosure video, I did one on the Anchor SSD enclosure. So if you didn't catch that out you can check it out right there but what I will do now for a bit of variety is I will set this up this SSD up on Windows because on the previous video I set up the SSD on Mac OS so for a bit of variety I will set this up on Windows the connection is pretty strong I will say on the uh, USB-C cable so that's a that's a good sign last thing you want is a flimsy little connection and we'll just connect this in to Windows. It's worth noting as well that uh, I did get a lot of questions on my Anchor video as to what chipset the controller uses on the enclosure. And to be honest, I don't actually know because it's very, very hard to see the components on the inside of the Anchor enclosure. On this one, it is very, very simple and there is a product number. So it is an AM Micro uh, AM8180 chipset. So for the people that will ask, there you go. On Windows then, so what we do is you click your start button and you go to disk management. And then once in disk management, you'll see, so where it says disk zero, that's my RC drive. So that's where Windows is installed. And then on disk one, that's our external SSD. So as you can see, uh, we have all this on allocated space. So if you right click new simple volume, click next, full capacity. Yes, please. Uh, sign a letter D, give it a volume label. I will just call it data. Hit next and finish. I'll give it a quick format and boom, there you go. So if we close out of that, go into this PC, there you go, we have our full SSD. Easy. So that just about wraps it up. Uh, on the whole, it, is, it does exactly what it says in the tin. It's a cracker little enclosure. It is solid build quality and it does transfer at the speeds that it's advertised which is good to know and also it's pretty cheap uh, you can pick this up on about, for about £22 on Amazon which is pretty good so if you're interested in picking one of these up I'll leave you a link in the description below and uh, yeah feel free to pick one up so that about wraps it up for this video guys hope you liked it if you did you know what you need to do hit that like button really really appreciate it, it helps me out on the channel and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button massively helps me out on the channel and if you want to be notified of new videos just like this hit that bell button cheers but until the next one I'll catch you later <laughs>